Hey everybody, as you can see I'm in Epcot, hopefully you can see that. Uh, the plan for tonight is, I'm actually uh, here, it's in the evening, I'm going to be running over checking out the Star Wars fireworks at Hollywood Studios. I'm going to live stream that hopefully, then I'm going to come through Epcot and head to Magic Kingdom and try to see if I can also live stream the fireworks over there on the same evening. So I've never been to those fireworks at the Magic Kingdom before so this should be an experience so I will take you along. Festival of the Arts is going on. I think this is actually my first visit here for this. I think. Anyway, you can see. They have these walls. I believe people sign their names. Express section. Oh, paint my number. Mural. I'll be skipping that tonight, but looks like others are enjoying it. Got these little picture spots set up across the parks. I don't know if I'll check those out or not. We'll see. Right now I'm just trying to make my way over to uh, Hollywood Studios. So the word is that they're testing the gondolas right now. Um, I don't see anything moving right now, but I'm going to keep an eye out as I cruise along the boat ride here on my way over. So. The uh, Ratatouille construction is still progressing. Let get a little closer. Now, I think that's supposed to open in 2021. Alright guys, the gondola, they have a car testing right now. It's coming this way. Let's we'll see if I can get closer.
All right, just walked into Hollywood Studios, and I think plans are going to change. I was going to try to film or live stream uh, the Star Wars fireworks, but I'm parked over at Epcot, and I'm going to have to ride a bus to get back over. So we'll see. We'll see. See what I make a decision on. Rumors are that it's going to open in like the next, uh, I think, three or four months. So. And I think I've probably already shown you by now in this video that they're testing the gondolas. And so those weren't supposed to open until fall. It's hard for me to believe that they're not going to open until then. But I'm already doing testing, but we'll see. I figure they're going to add more and more cars onto the line uh, until they've got them all on there. And then they're all running and then they'll do weight testing. All right, we're at the ABC Commissary and getting ready to... Uh, try some food so I'm gonna be doing the braised beef and and corn roasted enchilada so all right guys I'll let you know what I think of it okay, as if things couldn't get stranger I'm in the ABC commissary I did a mobile order and as you can see by the screen that I'm about to show you told me to come in and pick up this pager so yeah I don't know what's going on but their ordering system seems to be messed up. And I have a feeling this is going across all of the uh, dining because I keep getting a notification that if you want to uh, make changes in your dining plan, not your dining plan, but your reservation, you need to go to the website to do it. All right, time to get my food. All right, now I understand. Couldn't understand the cast member, what she was saying. She wanted me to just go sit down. Even though there was really very few places to sit down for time, and they would bring the food to me. Cast yes, members are wandering all over the place with food, trying to figure out where people are at. They literally, they walk up to each table, and I think they're looking to see if the, probably whatever they've got on their tray matches the number. And when it doesn't, they just keep moving on, so... Technically, though, I mean, they're trying to walk all over this entire place and look for these things. So, this seems uh, probably a little inefficient. I would rather be able to just walk up to the counter and pick up my food. Yeah, I'm just going to keep going on and on about this. Um, as I sit here and I think about this a little more, I think what they're trying to do is what I always stop from, what they're trying to stop from happening is what I do, and that's to basically place, sit down at a table place my order and then go up and pick it up so all right who knows all right as you can see this looks really good I think it's a beef braised enchilada uh, coleslaw obviously you see the beef there um, wow yeah this looks really good I'm gonna give this a, a try here and I'll be back in a little bit let you know what I think of it uh, by the way it's $15.99 Okay, this is the winner for the best thing I've eaten in any of the parks now. So, you got a, a, a corn, a corn shell basically, corn tortilla here, with a braised corn inside of it. This is all the piece of braised beef. And then you've got your slaw over here. This is absolutely, it's wonderful. I would recommend this a thousand times over, so. I'll get into it maybe a little bit more here, but uh, I just wanted to stop for a second and break it down, especially after the first taste. Okay. Alright, I get the Clean Plate Award. That was a really, really satisfying meal. So, I know I didn't go into it too well before, so here's what this was that I just ate. It was a braised beef and enchilada. It was braised, braised barbacoa beef, which was a good portion of the beef. A little bit fatty but not bad actually I mean that type of beef is always going to be marbled a little bit and so to cook all of the marbling out of it and cause it to not have any toughness at all uh, it's almost impossible so it was a very 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 well done piece of meat um, so we have barbacoa braised barbacoa beef served on cilantro slaw they actually put the slaw off to the side with a roasted corn and cheese enchilada topped with fire roasted chipotle sauce in case of fresco 
everything in that meal was spot on. So I have nothing to complain about. All right, guys. I hopefully you've enjoyed this review. I certainly have. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye. All right, the sun setting on Hollywood Studios. As you can see. And we have construction walls up. No, they shut it down. You can only go down. This is not a surprise since Galaxy's Edge is opening in a few months. Let's see if I can get some shots of it as we go along the way here. Really a neat picture spot here. And because of the trees and stuff that they put in place, you really can't see much of Galaxy's Edge from here. Pizza Rizzo is still in uh, seasonal mode. So, yeah, my wife is really disappointed about that only because she said they had really great pasta here. I have a review of Mama Mel Rosas that I haven't done. I've been holding on to it for a little while. Um, yeah, it was a disappointing experience, but uh, yeah, I'll get that review out and let you know why. It's a really nice area back in here. And I know everybody loves the Muppets, but you gotta wonder with that Galaxy's Edge and it's, I'm sure, success, how long this area can just remain the way it is. We're gonna head into Toy Story Land and see what kind of shots I can actually see of uh, Galaxy's Edge from inside there. Buzz Lightyear is still a popular guy. Should have brought my zoom lens. Just think, less than a year. By next Christmas, this will be open. I almost forgot they put Municiburg in here. I almost forgot to come check this out, so hey, let's take a look. Little photo spot here. The music actually reminds me of the music cute here in Carsland. Another photo spot. Celebration area. I guess they do dances, a party, that kind of stuff. 10:30 a.m. and 6 p.m. So it's over for the night. I think this is the at the mode. It is. And there's the madame herself. Is it the costumes are in here. Some of them. It's probably a great place for kids to burn off some energy. Uh, twice a day with the shows is probably uh, maybe yes and not enough, maybe not. But the park actually doesn't close until I want to say nine tonight, uh, eight tonight. So I guess I'm kind of surprised that they didn't run a show at least at seven. But I've seen several kids having meltdowns already. So maybe it's time for them to check out. I'm sure they know better what they're doing than I do. All right, guys, I've opted not to try to do the live streams tonight. Uh, that's really because of my poor planning. So uh, I am gonna run back through Epcot to see what else we can find over there. So uh, yeah, don't stop watching here. And uh, let's see what we can get into at Epcot. Alright, don't know how well you can see it. It's a nighttime shot of uh, Ratatouille. It's a, yeah, 
slow night there. Obviously no work going on there tonight. Friday evening, madness. At Epcot. Nice to see this still working. Gotta wonder if they'll keep all this. If they, if and when they change Future World. It's a five minute wait for Spaceship Earth. We have to do it. I'm just excited about this ride going down for reverb and possibly being changed. How many people are wanting them to just get rid of Duty Dents and put in a different narrator? I would like to see the scenes that they have now and update them. Maybe just refurb them. You know, most of them do look pretty good now. Many people want to see another roller coaster type of track. Something fast put in here with projection system. How many people would like to see the communication? aspect of it. How many people would like to see the communication aspect of it? But uh, maybe update it for the internet. Or does it really matter? We would make too much of the internet. How many people still feel as though it's educational? My granddaughter actually learned but this is Michelangelo in the Sistine Chapel by the sea. Yeah, I had heard in the scene up here with the uh, moon The TV was not working. But at this moment, it actually seems to be working just fine. So, Either the site that said that was misguided or been fixed since that time. I did notice that they were using Nissan as a large sponsor for um, American Coffin movies. What's the chance that this Nissan is actually pretty intense in robotics? Chances that maybe Nissan can sponsor this and do some things with it. How many people find it unfortunate with all the money and the ties that Apple has to Disney that they don't sponsor something in Epcot? Is now rotating back. Many people think that please remain seated. When it's all said, attention. Done. They won't you are now rotating backward for your return to Earth. But make some please overlays, seated, maybe. Time travelers. And future Attention world. travelers, and call please remain back. seated. Your time machine is rotating backward for your return to Earth. That wraps up another trip to the uh, parks. We made it back to Epcot. Um, sorry to flake out on you on the live stream, everybody, but uh, that was poor planning on my part. I will do a better job after this. If there is an area that you would like to see live stream or some place within the parks, uh, please let me know. I'd be happy to do it. And uh, until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.